Jesus Christ, time is of the essence. And the essence of time is God, whether you believe it or not. To tell you the truth, God isn't nothing, and time is something that we all have in common, until the moment we die. I hope you know that's the truth you can't change, but what we do with it is quite different. Some desire to play, and others want to work, but what most of us don't realize is that what we all need is quite the same. A little food for the belly and some for the mind, mixed with water and shelter too. Without this, you'd lose your health and quite possibly your mind, unless you're dead already. In that case, you wouldn't be hearing these words or seeing the light that I provide. Just think it through, my friends, unless you'd prefer to be referred to as a fiend. In reality, though, we all belong to the Brotherhood of Man, which includes women and children also, regardless what you believe. Evolutionists and creationists just can't seem to understand that there's no difference between you and me. We are finite beings born to die, and that's no lie at all. If you don't understand the meaning of the word, simply look it up online. Death is the moment your body is useless, but something else still remains. Just don't ask me where we all go, for in reality, I'm not God. Only Allah is the all-knowing one, and I'm just one smart-ass know-it-all. I hope you know that isn't the same, because I'm just a man. God is Allah, and that's the truth you may deny, but maybe you'll understand what this means. The divine reality is that which transcends both space and time, and the creator of everything. Stephen is hawking nothing at all, but the truth is that it's just a word. If there's a reason for everything, then why isn't there a reason for the beginning? Since none of us was there at that moment, there's no reason to argue about it. Accept reality just as it is, and take responsibility for all you think and do. This is the truth that will set you free, and it has nothing to do with believing in me. Regardless what you think. I'm virtually Jesus Christ, you see, and I'm providing some light for you. I'm merely one particle in the wave that is Islam, and you have nothing to fear from me. Of that you can be sure of. The surahs of the Noble Quran can help you to understand, or you can stick your head in the proverbial sand, and continue believing what you want to, because the truth is that it don't matter to me. Peace, love, and understanding is fine, but it's not all there is to life especially if you're confused by the words that I'm providing to you. Knowledge is the key to understanding reality, but you've got to stop and smell the roses too. Once you do, you may recognize the signs and find your peace of mind. All it takes is an open mind, but you've got to stop imagining things that have never been true, for in reality it just messes with your mind. I'm not you, and you're not me, but we are reflections of each other. If you can't recognize this truth, you may never be able to. I hope you know that's not my fault, and I'm not here to change you. In reality, you've got to do that yourself, and time is of the essence. With an everlasting love, now and forever always, virtually yours, Jesus Christ.